Hello everybody. So here we have got a quadratic equation in which it is given that the roots are of opposite signs and we have to find the range of values of a. So if we are talking about sum of roots, just an example, although we are not finding the roots over here, you know that it's a complex quadratic equation because it is only mentioned in the question that the roots are of opposite signs. It's not mentioned about your magnitudes. So you're not sure about whether it is positive, negative or zero. Now you see this is a quadratic expression over here and it can be factorized very easily over here, right? That A will belong to this range. That is one to two. And that is the answer. Hello everybody. So here we have got a quadratic equation in which it is given that the roots are of opposite signs and we have to find the range of values of A. So let's start doing it. It is given that the roots are of opposite signs. So if you are thinking of taking the uh, sum of the roots, so let's see what's happening. Suppose the roots over here, they are alpha and beta, right? And don't forget that they are of opposite signs. So if we are talking about sum of roots, just an example, Although we are not finding the roots over here, you know that it's a complex quadratic equation, but just suppose that the roots are of opposite signs, just taking any random values. So you see, they can be like this, suppose. So you see this sum over here is what? Minus three plus seven is coming out to be four, right? And if suppose the roots, they are of this form, minus nine and suppose five. So you see this sum over here is minus four. So sum is positive, sum is negative. And it can also happen that suppose the roots are of opposite signs, but they are equal. So the sum over here is coming out to be zero. So you see, what does it mean? That taking some of the roots in this case is not feasible because you don't know actually whether the sum is coming out to be positive, negative or zero because it is only mentioned in the question that the roots are of opposite signs. It's not mentioned about your magnitudes. So you're not sure about whether it is positive, negative or zero. But over here, we can take one thing. See, the roots are of opposite signs. So that is for sure that the product of the roots will be negative. That is for sure. Whether the magnitudes are like this, you don't have to bother. The product will every time be negative. So you are sure about this. So therefore, we are going to use the product of roots of this quadratic equation over here. So the product of roots, you know, for a quadratic equation, that is C by A and that is less than zero over here. Now, what is C in this case, guys? C is the constant term. You see, this is C. So therefore, it is A square minus 3A plus 2. And what is A over here? A is the coefficient of X square. And you see that is equal to 3 over here. So divided by 3, it is less than zero. So basically you can multiply three on the other side of the equation. It's a positive number. So there is no problem in the inequality. So it can be multiplied. So therefore we are going to get a square minus three a plus two. That is less than zero. Now you see this is a quadratic expression over here and it can be factorized very easily over here, right? So after factorization, you will get a minus one into a minus two and that is less than zero. And now we have to find the range of values of a for which we are going to use the wavy curve method, a very simple method. So over here, if you take the number line, the zeros are one and two, right? So it is one and two over here. So you see uh, the highest exponent of the variable over here, it is a raised to the power one, a raised to the power one, the linear factors basically. So basically, uh, this is before the constant term. This is before the constant term. It means it is not of the form one minus a. So you don't have to bother. You can say that the very first thing over here will be positive. This range will be positive. And then you see the exponent of the linear factors. They are odd numbers, one and one. So the sign will change. So minus again at one also the exponent of the variable is exponent of the linear factor over here is odd. So again, it will change. I hope this is clear. So in which range of values, the value of this expression is coming out to be negative. That is one to two. So what will I say? That A will belong to this range. That is one to two. And that is the answer. I hope this is clear to every student over here.